what's good guys welcome back to ron's rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where today we have two alfro male tonale phevs and in veloce trim before their debut just weeks away for november yes gabe tz spy unit has caught two new alfro male veloces in vesuvio gray and we have two different sets of wheels. That's how I know that there's two models. And there's also a few body designs that we need to talk about. Now, before I get started, make sure you check out Gabe TZ Spy Unit. Link to his page in the description below because he has some of the best spy photos out there for these Italian cars. Now, the Alfa Romeo Tonale PHEV will be the next addition to the Alfa Romeo C-segment range of the new SUV. And as anticipated by executives of the historic Milanese brand, in recent months, the debut of this version, which will be the future top of the range, will be expected in November. And this is the Tonale PHEV that will be coming to North America, but we will not see it here until May as confirmed by Alfa Romeo. As they said, it will be coming in spring of 2023. Now keep in mind that we saw the first Alfa Romeo Tonale versions debuted back in February 8th. This is the plug-in hybrid, and this will be very similar to the other versions of the SUV presented, but obviously the change is the presence of an electric charging flap. Now speaking of that electric charging flap, if you look on both sides, the driver and passenger rear quarter panel, well, you will see that there's camouflage on both sides, which show a charging or fuel door on both sides. So we may have two doors on the passenger and driver's side of the Tonale, maybe one for the plug-in and maybe one for the fuel. That makes the most sense, right? Also, you see camouflage down on the rear diffuser showing off the new exhaust as we do not have actual exhaust pipes on the current Alfa Romeo Tonale that has been released in other markets. So this will be the first time we actually get real exhaust and two doors on the rear quarter panel, which would probably give us charging and fuel doors. Now recall that this variant is supposed to be the most powerful among the range, and that will be capable of a power of 275 horses. Now, I really want to see a quadrifolio version that could arrive in the future, but there's a lot of doubt. And the reason why I wanna push that, well, you guys know, the Hornet. Yes, the Dodge Hornet has come and undercut the Tonale and flex its muscles, and I wanna see the Tonale fight back. So I'm hoping that we get a quadrifolio version that takes us well over 275 horsepower for this entry-level Alfa Romeo model. Now, thanks to the arrival on the market of this version, the Alfa Romeo Tonale should further increase the sales with the model preparing to land in numerous other car markets, including here in the United States, as I mentioned earlier, and other markets like China. Now it is slated to actually start to be built by the end of the year. Again, we will not see it into the first, maybe second quarter of 2023, depending on how everything goes and if it runs smoothly. I'm hoping so because I would love to see this at the dealerships and be able to show it off to you guys live and in person. But the Veloce spec, I believe this is the first time we've actually seen a badge letting us know what model we actually have in front of us here. So the Veloce being the top of the line spec of the Alfa Romeo Tonale, well, it's good to see that it's almost on its way. Just the only camouflage we have are over the fuel and plug-in doors and the rear quarter panels and the exhaust. But otherwise, this is what we're gonna see for our top spec trim of the new Alfa Romeo Tonale PHEV. So let me know what you guys think about this Vesuvio gray spec and which wheels do you like better, the dark wheels or the aluminum wheels? And let me know, do you guys think they'll make a quadrifolio version? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on two Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce PHEVs testing out in the wild right before their debut. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon. Just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. Now you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch where you can get long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, Kango hats, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. See everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat, just in case it doesn't make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.